Hello, my name is John Hawkins. I'm a district forester for the Texas A&M Forest Service. Today I'd like to talk to you about my role with the agency as a burn manager managing prescribed fire on state, federal, and county property. I thought today I'd give you a little bit of my general thoughts on how I plan, prepare, and execute for prescribed fire. Planning is a critical process that lines the whole burn up to have a successful outcome. First, I visit the site to be burned, looking at the fuels, planning on the weather needed, resources needed, and smoke placement. I write a good plan accounting for my reasons to burn, contacts to be made, weather, firing techniques, and smoke management. While I'm prepping lines, I visit adjoining neighbors on the proposed burn to educate on prescribed fire and our future plans. I make sure all needed equipment is running and available for the burn day. The day of the burn, I submit a spot weather forecast while taking into account what's happened leading up to the burn day and planning for weather several days out after completing the unit. I make all required notifications to the local sheriff's dispatch and local fire departments. I make sure all planned resources and equipment are in place, brief all resources on operations, weather, communications, safety and contingencies. We start the test fire process to make sure that we're within prescription and meeting objectives. We'll then monitor and document completing the burn by wrapping up with good mop up. I'm continually evaluating the process from planning to execution and wrapping up with an AAR or after action review to get feedback and make changes if needed from all burn day resources. Finally, I revisit the site sometimes multiple times to make sure the burn met objectives and document those findings. This is a very general overview of my responsibility of managing burn on public lands. As always, the agency recommends if you're burning on private lands to use a certified and insured prescribed burn manager licensed by the Texas Department of Agriculture. I hope you enjoyed our video. And if you have any questions, call one of our local district offices. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter.